Hi, and welcome to Equestrian Life TV. I'm Brett Harbury, and I'm sitting here with Richard White. Richard is one of the presenters here at this year's Equitana, here with his wife, Kira Kirkland. Welcome, Richard. Good day, mate. <laughs> Great Australian. Richard, um, I just want to take this chance to just get a little to know you a little bit better and f sort of find out what got you involved in dressage and what you sort of what inspired you to become the horse person that you are today and the successful coach and trainer that you are. So um, where does your background in horses come from? My parents were, they have a farm and they always had horses so I was really brought up with horses and uh, did all the usual pony club stuff. But I come really from a hunting and racing background so um, started point to pointing and hunter chasing when I was 16. But as they had always bought very young ponies for us, um, I had to learn to train them and bring them on. So had to learn a little bit about how do you train and how do you teach ponies and. Um, Somehow when you get into, already I think when I was very young I also started teaching. I had younger brothers and sisters and already at the, enjoyed teaching from quite a young age. And they've just developed on really from there. Yeah. I mean you're a, you're a familiar sight around any international competition arena, you're always on your way to warm someone up or warming someone up. I mean, you would be one of the busiest people during a, an international competition that I've seen anyway. Is coaching something that that you chose uh, for an interest or for commercial reasons? Because I mean, you are one of the world's top coaches. I enjoy coaching anybody that wants to learn and you have to get paid to do something in your life, so you have to make it commercially viable. But I enjoy coaching other people. I love watching dressage horses and riders, or really good dressage, or really good riders and horses performing at their best. Um, I think it's a lovely picture to watch. And being able to influence and create that kind of picture is something special I I look to create the picture I want to see whether that is always the same as what the judges want to see I don't know but at least you believe in what you're doing I mean that's a beautiful way to lead into my next question which is if you had to summarize your philosophy of dressage what you like to see what you strive to see in your riders what what would it be I like to see the the athletic ability of the horse develop to its highest degree and that the horse is really moving together with the rider in a dance. I think the, the beauty is in seeing the, or the combination of a horse and a rider dancing together in harmony. Um, to the maximum of their athletic ability is really yeah. exciting. And are you a person that's more attracted to the, the delicacies of it or do you like the powerful war horse style uh, of a horse? No, I like the artistic side. I think it's the, the creative artistic talent of riders that I think is... Um, most exciting but then again that is a combination of athletic power you could say but it also has to be relaxed and harmonious and elastic not just tense power so with that comes the degree of horsemanship that that all top coaches and riders have to understand the difference between negative and positive tension. Is that something you'll be bringing across in the masterclass tomorrow? Mm, I think, well, Kira's doing the masterclass tomorrow, but I mean, she is also 
a lot of that is rider technique how much or we're looking really for competition dressage but also within classical principles uh, we don't sacrifice correctness of the uh, classical principles to achieve the best competition results that we can wonderful so um now on to the compulsory side of the interview is the questions so what would be something on your bucket list that you'd like to achieve in your time in equestrian before you finish no oh, i would like to be able to carry on doing what i'm doing i'm very happy doing what i'm doing and i hope i can carry on doing it for as long as possible and enjoy a healthy enough life that I can do that. I think I've achieved uh, a lot of my, or uh, my goal is just to carry on enjoying teaching and being able to work with quality enough horses and riders that you can create what you want to do. So it's an artistic sort of sculpturist you are from the ground in, in an athletic sense. Yeah, I think I, I enjoy the creativity of, it, in one way it is, teaching is being able to sort of paint a picture that you want to see and you tinker with it and add things and till it becomes uh, the picture that you want to see. But the fact that you've been a part of creating that is very satisfying. And uh, the next one is, what single most piece of information would you say that, is a, that has been given to you by someone that's really changed or, or helped you along the way, and who was it from? Probably my father, who uh, said, we'll go to Finland and stay and live with Kira. You'll probably be home in a couple of months, but it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wonderful. Um, Richard, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming down to Australia and visiting us. And uh, people of your expertise are always, we love having you and we want to see more of you in years to come. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching Equestrian Life TV and don't forget to log on to www.equestrianlife.com.au. Thank you.